Hello everyone, Sandbox Co. here. In this video, I will try my best to quickly describe how I record VR videos. I'm always getting asked how I capture videos at work, Discord, and recently on my last video. If you find this video helpful, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. All right, let's get right into the video. I use OBS with Live Vision Kit plugin. Most people are already familiar with OBS. But what a lot of people do not realize that you often want to use some tool to stabilize the video. That way we can eliminate head bobbing. This helps your viewers out so they do not suffer any motion sickness. For all of my VR videos, I always make sure to add a live vision kit stabilizer filter. I'm going to give a shout out to Tuvis about this because he made me aware of the live vision kit plugin. I'll link to his channel in the description, so make sure you check him out. He has a good video where he compares stabilized footage to non-stabilized. But trust me, folks, you want the stabilized version. It eliminates all the annoying head bobbing and really makes the video nice and stable. All right, if you've been coming here for a while, you might not be aware of this, but I like to script my videos. But this part is going to be unscripted, so please go easy on me if you notice a lot of crutch words and a little bit of sloppiness. I have to do this part live. All right, this part is a bummer. It says this project is on indefinite pause. Okay. Um... Yeah, so check the comments, because by the time you watch this video, I might have to switch this out to a different solution. But hopefully, you can keep using this live vision kit. All right, once again, yeah, this part isn't scripted, so um, let's see. I'm going to try and get through this pretty quick. You're next up here. You want to come here to, like, latest and then you want to download just want to like i'm on windows so here we are i downloaded the zip file and i extracted it to a folder what you want to do next you see how it says obs studio what you want to do is grab this just you can just cut it and then you just got to go to your installation folder i already have it open like for me it's C it's my C drive program files OBS studio and I'm gonna go up one level see I already have it though but for you you're gonna want to like paste it I'm not gonna do that because I already have it installed but all you have to do is just paste it and you'll have the plugin installed it's just that simple all right next up we're gonna open up OBS I have a lot of layers in OBS though. I'll I'll discuss this open XR mirror here in my next chapter. But for now, just bear with me. Like this could be like your game window, whatever you're cap capturing your footage from. For me as open XR mirror. And I'll talk about that in the next chapter. So next we want to like you can go to filter, fumbling, fumbling here. Wow, I didn't even have it here. That's funny. So you want to go to filter and add the video stabilizer. And it's just that easy. So basically, if you're capturing from a game window, for instance, like I'm always, like sometimes I capture directly from DCS and Again, you might want to rewind the video, but you can go to filters. Like I got DCS, I go to filters. See, I had a video stabilizer. You can go with, you can change this. I've just been using default though for my videos. I haven't changed this. And again, you can go, you can right click, go to filters. There you go. And this was OBS. All right, that's it for this chapter. All right, for this next part, we're going to talk about the OpenXR OBS Mirror plugin. Basically, you just come over here to Latest. And yeah, read, read the stuff. This is very important stuff, actually, which I will help you with. You scroll down here, you download the zip file, and you extract it. 
I have it extracted right here, the folder. And you're going to see there's this file. Like the, inst the instructions say you could just run this with PowerShell. But the problem is if it fails, you won't get any feedback. So we're going to run PowerShell as an administrator. CD. I have it on D drive. So I'm going to go there. I hit tab key to do the completion. All right. So you just go here and then I already did this stuff, but for yourself, he's like, I think it's shift insert here. That's right. For me, it's going to show up as restricted to here. But what we need to do is do this part. temporarily I'm gonna come back to this to PowerShell I'm gonna hit shift insert shift insert is what I'm hitting and then you'll get this I'll just do yes to all or whatever but you want to read this it's trying to tell you like if a script you do not trust it can do some harmful things so if that's fine with you I'm just going to, for this, I'm just going to hit Y. All right. Now you can do the installation. So this is what I did. I just do all of this from, I, I typed in LS right there, right? All lowercase LS. What I just did was, like for you, you're going to want to do something like, Let's see, I'm trying to remember command. Usually I do this sort of thing, run shell scripts on Linux. See, I already have it installed, but for you, you should be able to just run it like that. Okay, great. I'm gonna get out of this because I've already done it, but for yourself, you're gonna wanna run it one time. For me, I'm not gonna run it, but for you, you're gonna type in R run once, but for me, I've already did it. Do not, I'm not gonna run it. But you won't get this red for you. It should run hopefully, and you will not get any errors. If you do get an error, I did read about people um, going inside a rig, rig edit and doing stuff there. All right, we're doing the last step. So, but anyways, you can go inside your Windows registry and there's like some steps. I don't run into that problem though. Hopefully you won't either. And then this is the last step. I know it's a little bit of a pain, but we're we're pretty much done. We're going to we're going to set it back to restricted again. Yeah, this same thing. Do you want to change the ex Yeah, I'm going to just say yes. And then I'm a, I'm a, I'm hitting up arrow to go up in my history. Now we're looking at get it. So yeah, this part might be boring to people, but it is what it is. This is the first step to get this. I think it's worth it. Like now you're, you're, you should be done and you have the whole thing installed. You have this installed, but let me show you. Now what you want to do is go inside OBS, right? And then once you're inside a headset, I'm not in headset right now, but once you're in headset, you want to do this. Um, that way it'll just uh, resize. Like for me, I was capturing footage from the Pomax crystal, and that's why it looks like this is this dimension. And yeah, in the previous chapter, I already covered the filter. So... That should be, that's pretty much it. That's about all I can think of. There's nothing much to this, but let me show you right here in properties. Like you can, you can choose between right and left. I'm not sh right. I just, I just left it at right. I just left this check. You can click this if you need to. I haven't needed to myself. Going from memory. And yeah, that should be it. After you do that, you'll be able to capture footage directly 
from your headset, which is very, very useful. Like for instance, like if I'm running Open Eboard, Open Eboard renders directly to Open XR, right? It bypasses the game app. So that's why you want to be able to capture directly from Open XR. And I covered Open Kneeboard in a previous video, so hopefully you'll see a link up there somewhere that links you to that video so you can see what I'm talking about. It's a wonderful tool for flight sims, DCS, what have you. All right, that's it for this chapter. All right, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Please consider hitting that like button if you enjoyed the content, if you found it helpful. Also consider subscribing. Thanks. Goodbye.